This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. But this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record, that God hath given to us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken, and the other left. Watch, therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his master made ruler over his household to give them food in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Assuredly, I say to you, that he will make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his coming, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him, and at an hour that he is not aware of, and will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the Lord said to Noah, Come into the ark you and all your household, because I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. And it 
came to pass, after seven days, that the waters of the flood were on the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep were broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. And the Lord shut him in. Now the flood was on the earth forty days. The waters increased and lifted up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The Only Noah and those who were with him in the ark remained alive. And the waters prevailed on the earth, one hundred and fifty days. Then God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth. and the waters subsided. The fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were also stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters receded continually from the earth. At the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters decreased. Then the ark rested in the seventh month the seventeenth day of the month, on the mountains of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains were seen. So it came to pass, at the end of forty days, that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. Then he sent out a raven, which kept going to and fro until the waters had dried up from the earth. He also sent out from himself a dove to see if the waters had receded from the face of the ground. But the dove found no resting place for the sole of her foot, and she returned into the ark to him for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took her and drew her into the ark to himself. And he waited yet another seven days. And again he sent the dove out from the ark. Then the dove came to him in the evening. And behold, a freshly plucked olive leaf was in her mouth. And Noah knew that the waters had receded from the earth. So he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, which did not return again to him any more. Then the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground for man's sake, although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth nor will I again destroy every living thing, as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. Matthew, chapter 16, verse 3. And in the morning, the weather will be bad today, for the sky is red and angry. You are able to see the face of heaven, but not the signs of the times. In today's show, we're looking at the date, the 24th of September now. It's a date that's gone viral on TikTok as the new doomsday date. Uh, should we be scared? And what's this all about? <laughs> 
Indeed, Tom. Perhaps we won't be scared for now. Uh, many scary things, though, are being said on uh, TikTok about September 24th, which has become the latest viral doomsday date online. Uh, the latest is this viral... Revelation 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. A video on a TikTok right here claiming that there will be a global blackout. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. On a September 24th, and at the root of this conspiracy theories is uh, this is speech right here made by uh, Frederick Merz, party leader of the CDU in Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, dieser 24. September this 24th of September 2022 is going to be a day which we will remember and we're going to say about this day in the future that I will remember where I was, will remember where I was. Remember where I was. Uh, what he says in this clip right here is this 24th September will remain in our memories in the future. We'll say I remember where I was on that day. On that day. On that day. On that day. There will be a global blackout on September 24th. Uh, uh, in this video with over 1 million views uh, where he makes a reference to the speech by Mr. Frederick uh, Mers. Tom. Okay, so what's the real meaning behind this f uh, expression, this phrase that uh, Frederick Mertz has been using? Indeed, Tom, we wanted to get to the bottom of this. So we contacted the German CDU spokesperson uh, to find out what Frederick Merz really meant by citing this date, September 24th. Uh, the spokesperson explains that Mr. Merz uh, meant February 24th, which is the beginning of the Russian attack on Ukraine, and mistakenly said September 24th. So it was an unintentional error. Uh, so this uh, tiny error that uh, was uh, taken out of proportion and became a viral doomsday date on social media. Uh, this error was actually rectified uh, by the, the official Bootenstag uh, website where you could find a transcript and summary of uh, the speech made by Mr. Frederick Merz that day, uh, detailing that the correct date is uh, February 24th and not September 24th. Uh, we also have uh, the official video that was posted that day from the speech, and we can see right here that it was uh, posted on February 28th, so just some days after the uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, but this video has also been continuously been used as uh, a for conspiracy theories online. We have this example right here where someone is uh, is, according to this user, preparing for a catastrophe or an evacuation in the city of Denver. So once again, this video taken out of context on uh, social media. So will anything happen on September 24th? Most probably not. Uh, this is just another fake doomsday uh, date and a viral video that's been taken out of context. Tom. Okay, Catalina. Well, I hope uh, you've got some good plans for Saturday because uh, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen on the 24th of September. <laughs>
Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. My. 